that right behind me is the General Sherman tree. It's huge. It's actually the world's largest tree by volume. It's pretty awesome. And we get to experience here on the first day out here in Sequoia National Park. Look at that thing, huge. So we're just exploring the park today and just having a little bit of fun before we uh, start the High Sierra Trail tomorrow. Last night we stayed over here at Dorse Creek Campground. You see the group behind me. We're just waiting to catch a shuttle. Uh, we gotta do three stops. The third, yeah, three stops. We go from here to Lodgepole, and Lodgepole to the Forest Museum, and then from there over to the Crescent Meadow. But you can see how smoky it is in the air. Um, last night the winds must have shifted, and from the Ferguson fire up north in Yosemite, it was blowing the smoke in over here. But that's it. We're going to take off and start the High Sierra Trail. Here we are, Saturday, August 4th, High Sierra Trail. You guys can see the sign behind me, uh, 60 miles of Mount Whitney. But we've got a total of 72 to go because we got to go to Whitney Portal where we've got Paul, Wes, Matt, and Steve waiting for us. So here we go. This is the High Sierra Trail. Made it to a nine mile creek camp. Uh, we we're trying to push a little further, but got a late start. Uh, I'm not doing the best. Having trouble breathing up here, as you can probably tell. But we're gonna make some dinner and call it an early night. We all washed up in the creek, got feeling good from that. And yeah, just had to make some nice dinner and some packet gourmet and head, uh, head to bed early. Meadows Resort. Everybody's got their snacks. Yeah, just a nice relief off the trail. We've got four miles to go to Hamilton. And look at this out here, guys. Something I've been waiting to see for a long time. That right there has the Great Western Divide. And we're going to be going up over Korea Gap over there. That's the 10,680. And then we go down. So beautiful, just beautiful.
right here, guys, is Lone Pine Creek. Look at this drop. That is a ways down. If I come to this side, look at this view. Wow. And then if you look down, right there is the old bridge that they built. Of course, wasted from avalanches and floods and stuff. Look at this big old piece of rock here that just wedged in there. I wonder where that came from. We come back up. Look at that view. Can't beat that. We're making a little quick pit stop here and then we're gonna head up we've got two miles to go to hamilton lake we're actually making pretty good time today i'm feeling a lot better um, this morning woke up with puking pooping everything uh just having trouble breathing throughout the night I had shivers everything but feeling a lot better now uh, trail will do that to you trail will get you going especially in this beauty i wanted to show you the trail across the way so bear paws around the corner and there's a trail that goes down to Lone Pine Creek down there and now we just got the switchbacks it was tough huh that's yep. some tough switchbacks but when you got the weight on our packs that we do too it's a butt kicker but we're making it we'll probably be at Hamilton Lake within an hour and a half or so and there's some water up ahead filter some water that's a little dry the views are starting to suck a little bit now because of the smoke getting blown in. Earlier it was just immaculate out there. our stop for night two upper Hamilton Lake and it's beautiful here guys just beautiful uh, great fishing uh, you got Monica David back there fishing Robert's gonna clean up here in a few you got your ping back there uh, Robert and Eric or sorry Don and Eric geez I'm uh, losing it already up here but here it is <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys my sleep setup for this weekend or this week. Got the Lunar Solo LE and inside. I got my uh, Cedar Ridge quilt and my big axle sleeping pad. Uh, should do me really well. Got Ghost Whisper as well. I'm uh, using the Optic 58 for my bag and for tomorrow. Uh, you can see where Monica and Donna are over there. We have to go up along here, back and forth, up, up, up. Then there's a big waterfall right here. And we're going to be going to Precipice Lake. And then across the Kawea Gap and then down. Man. Didn't realize how beautiful it is out there. But man, that is beautiful. Of course, dry out my clothes, my highlighter boxers. Give you guys a good laugh. day today gonna fuel up with some packet gourmet West Memphis uh, grit souffle uh, this is a view we woke up to awesome woke up at 5 it's about 6 o'clock right now and our goal for the day is well one of the goals is getting up to precipice lake then up over Kawea Gap that's downhill so let's do this
can see behind me, we are at Precipice Lake. Beautiful. Spend all day here if we wanted to. The views are killer. But uh, the brutal hike coming up from Hamilton Lake. Not gonna sugarcoat it. One of the hardest days on the trail for me so far. Especially with a pack pushing 40 pounds. But when you come to this, makes it all worth it. You got a uh, Eagle Scout Peak right over here. Then in about an hour or so, we'll be going up over there and going up over Kawea Gap, which would be us crossing the Great Western Divide. Just made it to Kawea Gap. Amazing. Easily the hardest hike I've done so far. Coming up to here. Big Arroyo camp. This is one hell of a day. Not for Eric. Eric's just like, just like a cat. El Gato, he's like running down, the, running down, no problem. Um, on the other hand, that was a hard hike going up to Kawea Gap. I'm doing my jet ball here. That's what you guys are hearing. But dinner tonight is another packet gourmet. It is a trailside bean and cheese burrito. So we're gonna try that one out. It's got a lot of you know beans, so you got some protein. Uh, this is actually a very nice site. You got. Right. Within 50 feet of us is there one of the rivers going through. Um, you got Robert here. You got Eric over there. Don's doing some laundry. We got David. Mock is over there. Shipping's over there. Got a few more people coming into camp there. And then a big group went down that way of like 10 people. But yeah, this will be home for the night. Uh, day three. We got day four tomorrow. Good, uh, what is it? 14 miles probably, try to get to Kern Hot Springs. It'll oh. be fun. What are you cooking there? Texas State, Texas State Fair Chili. Another packet gourmet meal. Let me get, let me get up. Oh my gosh, why'd I get up? I'm gonna have you, Eric tell you what he's got here. Well, this is just an appetizer. This is um, carrot salad at cold soup. It's got carrots, uh, pineapple, Brown sugar, pecans, and raisins. It's really good. It's delicious. And I'm gonna eat for main course, garlic parmesan ramen. Yeah, he's even got his little labels made yeah. and everything. 982 calories for this meal. Damn. Oh. That's why you're cooking yeah. on the trail. Look at you, yeah. all these calories. No calories, and no energy. Here's a finished product, a bean and cheese burrito. You get the Cholula sauce with it. And on top of that, I got some tea, pomegranate white tea. A little stevia, that's from Trader Joe's, pretty good stuff. I already tried a little bit of this, it was pretty damn good. Let's see if I can make a burrito without it going all over the place. Winner, winner, winner. Look at that guys, a nice golden trout.
the left, right? And we made it to Upper Funston Camp. Everybody's uh, setting up their tents already. Some have already been set up. We're gonna make some dinner here and try to call it an early night, but I still need to wash up too. But get some dinner in me, wash up, uh, clean off my socks, and then be good to go. And this will be the end of day four. Morning of day five, and we are heading out. We've got a long day today. Um, trying to get past Junction Meadow. Hopefully get to Wallace Creek today, we'll see. That way we'll have an easy day tomorrow on day six, just going up past Guitar Lake. But it's been a blast. Um, this campsite here in Upper Funston, amazing. You got the, one of the creeks flowing right over here. We had a little fire this morning. Um, got David back there, showing off his muscles. <laughs> And look at that cliff back there. Wow. Sun's just hitting. We're gonna have an awesome day. Just made it the current hot springs. You can see the bathtub here. And it's got some good flow going. Um, you got a sign over here, it just says to use a lower pool because there's an upper pool right here. And they don't want to use that one. But pretty darn warm. Again? Josh Haney. Josh Haney. Yeah. And you are? Todd McKernan. And? Jack Boy. Okay, and you guys are all from where? Ohio. Ohio? Ohio. 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 Yep. Nice. Yep. And Absolutely. Coming up here. Where are you from again? Uh, originally from Plano, Ohio, but I lived in Virginia. Okay. Yeah. And you guys came out here to the high school area? Yeah. yeah. We all went to school. We grew up together. Friends awesome. and just well, playing this. Started about a year and a half ago. I was sitting out on my front porch drinking coffee at 5 a.m. I saw an article in Outside Magazine about the High Sierra Trail, and I was like, screenshot it, send it to them, and I think by Sunday night, we were all... <laughs> right on. Oh, that's so, awesome. awesome. Here we are. Yeah. Nice. Right. Beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think you were saying you actually subscribed to me, watched I some did, of the videos. Yeah. yeah, I saw the video awesome. the, uh, the one up Whitney Portal. So, nice. Yeah, that was cool. Yep. Cool. Small world. Yeah, well, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the trip, guys, and yeah, absolutely. Yeah, have yeah. a good one. Enjoy Whitney. Yep. It'll be a blast. All right, we'll check it out. night of day five and we are up here at the Tyndall Lake Junction camp so uh, let me show you around I'm gonna flip the camera around show you what we got over here we're at Tyndall Lake Junction camp I got my Luna solo right there uh, we got Firefly Monica's tent got David's Luna solo right there Xu Ping's uh, Laura Designs tent back in the back there is Don's tent another Firefly Xu Ping got the fire going for us tonight I'm drawing out some boxers David was kind enough to do a water run for us. 
So he's got a bunch of water from the creek down below, right behind my tent. And then uh, if you come around, it's gonna be hard to see in the distance right over there. We got a cabin, an old like logger's cabin. We have this whole campsite to ourselves here at uh, Kendall Lake Junction Camp. We've got the nice fire going. Look at that. Good fire. And down below at Junction uh, Meadow, that campsite was like packed. There must have been 15 people there. And then uh, the other camp that we were trying to get to tonight, Wallace, it's another four miles. So we probably could have pushed to get there. Um, I know. Eric and Robert are there, but I don't think I'd have the juice to get there. So we decided to make camp here. Morning of day six. We're gonna be heading out getting past Guitar Lake today. And we've got an easy climb up to uh, Trail Keras tomorrow. And then whoever wants to summit Whitney gets to summit Whitney. And then we're gonna be meeting some friends over at Outpost Camp. So here we go. Let's start day six. to Wallace Creek Camp. Uh, we're gonna have some lunch here, just across the river. And it should be a nice day. Looks like there's some clouds forming up overhead, so we might get some thunderstorms, but looking towards uh, where Whitney is, there's nothing. It's actually, it looks like it's filming over the Kern River Basin. Let's get some lunch, some fuel in me. Got a cold soaked uh, ramen. Thanks to David, he uh, let me use this cold soaking pot. Day seven, we're heading up the trail crest. Camped at Guitar Lake last night. Was a little cold, but here we go up the trail crest.
This is where the JMT and High Sierra Trail come up. It meets with the Whitney Trail, which goes up that way to Whitney. Um, where we started was over on the other side of all those mountains in Sequoia, Crescent Meadow. Um, not this mountain, not the next one. Next one over would be uh, where Coahuilla Gap is, and we came down to Big Arroyo, um, camped there, then came up and visited Moraine Lake, went down to Upper Funston Camp, which is in the Kern River drainage, which is on the backside of both those mountains. Went up that all the way to Pass Junction Meadow and went to Upper Tyndall Camp. And then from there we went on the backside of this mountain over to Wallace Creek and then around. And you pass by that, that meadow there, come down through Crabtree, past Timberline Lake, and we camped at Guitar Lake last night. And then we came up all the way up here, took these switchbacks up early, and now we are here. And we're gonna be heading down to Outpost Camp here shortly. And then that'll be our last night. Then we'll be heading out to Whitney Portal. Look at the size of that marmot. He's huge. Fat little guy. Who showed up? Matt and Steve. And they brought us a little treat. Just hot dog buns. That's all. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, we actually man. have two packages of these. Thank you guys. We do appreciate it. Truly appreciate it. After seven days on the trail, some real food. Here we are, last day. We're going to be hiking out to the portal for outpost camp. Got the group right here. Camped by the waterfall last night. Here we go. The last trek of the trip.
stopped here at Lone Pine Lake just to do a little fishing before we head back down as our trip's almost over. And just a relaxing time here. You got some of the group up there just relaxing in the shade. You got Monica on the fly rod, Don over there. Chupin's taking a bunch of pictures, which she's loving. Then coming over this way. Trying to get this guy on the fish. Hopefully we get him on one. the high sierra trail guys hope you guys enjoyed the video we had a blast hiking it eight days seven nights on the trail so many different campsites that we got to stay at there was so much different scenery out there didn't see as many animals that we would like but saw tons of deer out there uh, pikas marmots squirrels tons of birds uh, lots of fish caught lots of fish just didn't see any bears sort of hoping to see a bear out there when you guys get out on the High Sierra Trail, there's just something magical out there. Don't know how to describe it, but it hits you like right in here, in the heart. There's a, just a good feeling when you're out there experiencing nature like that. That was my longest backpacking trip ever, and I went and traded for it. had great friends along on the trail. Six great friends there, and then I had four more towards the end that met up with us. And we're darn lucky to have that experience. Uh, Matt and Steve came up, brought us hot dogs. We just thought they were bringing up candy. They brought up hot dogs and that really hit the spot. Then we got down the Whitney portal and there was our ride. Uh, thanks to Wes and Paul. Paul drove that van all the way up and all the way back. And we truly appreciate that. It was a blessing right there. One of my favorite spots along the trail was coming up from Precipice Lake to Kawea Gap. And that was something I really wanted to see was across that Great Western Divide to get to Kawea Gap. And when we got there and we looked down the valley into the Big Arroyo, man, it took my breath away. It was a white pocket moment. If my friends know that uh, white pocket took my breath away. And did there too. It was, it was great. Like, just seeing how deep it was, you could see how vast the whole valley was. So many lakes out there that we could see, the river flowing, which is awesome. God's creation is awesome out there. The Sierra Trail, I would recommend to anybody out there. If you ever get a chance, uh, I've had friends that have done it in five days, we did it in eight days. It's all up to you. Hike your own hike. Do what you'd like to do. Cater it around your schedule. If you only got five days to do it, do it in five days. If you got eight days, make the days a little bit shorter. Hike what you want out there. See what you want to see. There's many people that were on the High Sierra Trail that did side trips. Some went to Nine Mile Lake. Some other people went up past the Tyndall camp we were at to the Tyndall Lake. You can do all sorts of stuff out there. Cater it to yourself, but uh, definitely recommend the High Sierra Trail. You'll uh, certainly enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I know we all enjoyed hiking it. It was a blast out there. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Always appreciate those. I'll leave a comment below. Always appreciate all the comments. I try to respond to all of them the best I can. 
And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I'd appreciate that. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Work it. Things you find on the trail. Thor's hammer. Okay. I'm out of breath. <laughs> 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 <laughs>